Randy and Lisa, your chief memory architects from the Getaway Travel, and we just got back from a four week long trip down to Cancun, Riviera Maya. Yeah, as you know, we travel quite a bit. And man, I'm gonna tell you, we were on the go so much, we didn't have time to shoot every video that we wanted to, so we're coming to you right here from the Getaway Travel Cantina. Cantina, yeah. So, it's uh, nice to be back home for a little bit. That's right, so cheers. Cheers. And more than that, Cowabunga. Cowabunga. Well, this is Randy and Lisa, your Chief Memory Architects from To Getaway Travel, and we are on our way to the new Nickelodeon Riviera Maya Resort. Woohoo! Come on, SpongeBob! We are so excited to see, you know, what this resort open. We've seen it a few times, we've toured it, but it, there's nothing like the opening of a brand new resort. So we're going to be coming to you live today and coming to you in video showing you all the things that are going on at the new Nickelodeon River, Riviera Maya. So, Stay tuned. We got to be the first travel agents to stay at Nickelodeon Riviera Maya. And experience Aqua Nick. Oh, so stay tuned. We're coming right back. And we have our junior travel advisor, Parker. Who will be giving an update in another episode. So you're going to want to see those. So just, just to kind of give you just a, a quick perspective on where Nickelodeon Riviera Maya is located. Yeah. You fly into Cancun Airport. Mm -hmm. It's about 20 minutes from the airport. Yeah, it's not far at all. It's no, a it, short little drive. It is a short drive, and you definitely want to book this with us and our friends Lomas, Lomas Tra Travel. Lomas Travel, so they can get you there. Uh, transfer transfers are included in yes. the package. Yes. Uh, there's 280 suites. suites. Yeah. How many restaurants? Six restaurants. How and many they bars? Are, wait a minute. I just want to say they're fine dining restaurants. Well, fine dining with a with a little twist. Yeah, casual with, twist. With a casual twist. Fine dining for children that's very casual. Yes, but not so much geared towards children that adults won't go, wow. Uh, yeah. Because the food quality is to die for. Yeah. Um, the, it's got then the three, three bars. Three different bars. Uh -huh. And it's, it's the, kind of the way it's laid out is when you pull into the main gate, you come up and, and the uh, water park, which is uh, Aqua Nick, is over to the left. It's And kind of, you can see it from the highway. Yes, and then you come on up the drive and you go up a hill into a circular drive, which is where the lobby is located. Yes. yes, the lobby is grand. And at the lobby, it's not only grand, but I want to tell you, this is one of the classiest lobbies I yeah. think I've ever been in. Yeah, it really is. So although this is a family-friendly property, it's extremely classy for it, adults. Yeah, it's kid friendly, but at the same time, enjoy you know adults will enjoy hanging out there um, because just they've picked the brightest, coolest colors. Yes, along with chandeliers and golden pineapples and all kinds of stuff that well, and, uh, and, and, and make what, it unique. And what, and what else is unique about it is they have a kids check-in area where yes. the, the kids go in, they get their they get their slime drink. Oh, and Parker loved that. And so they go into the check, kids check-in area and they go in there and they color, they yeah. play games, they do all kind of fun there's, stuff. There's, um, what do they call the staff? I can't remember the, um, well, anyway, we'll come up with it. It's, there, there's staff in there that work with the kids that are trained to work with the kids. They get colors out and they get games out and do all kinds of things so from, with them while you're checking in. So from the minute you arrive, if you have kids with you, they are entertained. Yes. And, and, and I'm talking little kids, yes. okay? I mean, because that's the ones that need yeah. to be entertained. Yeah. If, you're, if it's your teenagers, yeah. trust me, they're going to love this place too. Yeah. But you walk into one of the classiest lobbies of, in a hotel that I've ever seen. Right. Uh, beautiful, beautiful gift shop. Hats off to our buddy Rahelio, yes. man. He he did an amazing job with the with the gift shop. There's actually it's, a it's, seating area in the gift shop and a coffee bar. You know, it's, and a coffee it's bar, super cool, and a in a boutique. Oh yeah. And then there's then there's the the lobby bar, which is extremely classy. Yes. Um, and then and then of course uh, on the same level. You've got uh, Piazza, which yes. is the, which is the Italian restaurant. Right, but we're not going to talk about food. No, no, no I'm giving a little oh, overview okay. of the of the lobby area. Okay. And so then you go downstairs, and you got La Spatula, which yeah. is another one of the restaurants. And so that pretty much makes up 
the lobby building. Yes. And so once you check in, then you go downstairs, you, the, 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 the cart comes, they load up your luggage and everything. Then they take you to the hotel and the hotel is it's, beachfront. It's, yeah, you go kind of through the jungle. We actually ran into a dinosaur in the jung in the jungle on the way to the rooms. Yeah. Um, and uh, then you have a lobby there, which is like your concierge station. It's like a, it's like station. a butler's lounge. Yeah. yeah, butler's lounge, but it's super cool too. So once you get into the butler's lounge, then then they're going to go on and escort you into your suite because this is an all suite hotel. Yes, yes. two hundred eighty suites. Two hundred eighty yeah. suites. And every suite is a swim up. Yeah, and every suite has two bathrooms. So it's it's very unique, very classy, and very, very, very and, well done. Uh, and so stay tuned. 